In a world increasingly driven by the need for sustainable transportation and food security, the discovery of new phosphate reserves is the same as striking gold. Norge Mining announced the discovery of 70 billion tons of phosphate in 2018 in southwestern Norway. Huge phosphate deposits discovered could be large enough to supply electric vehicles, solar panels, and fertilizer for at least 50 years. The phosphate reserves were identified through advanced seabed mapping and sampling techniques showcasing the capabilities of modern marine exploration technology. Despite the challenging conditions of the Arctic environment, the team's persistence paid off, unveiling a resource that could reshape industries. Phosphate is rich in phosphorus, which is a key component of many green technologies, as well as fertilizer. The find comes at a crucial time when Europe has been facing supply issues. Morocco, China, Iran, and Syria also have large deposits of the material, but the war has still had an impact, realized through rising fertilizer costs. This has led to concerns about the security of phosphate supply and the potential for geopolitical tensions. Norway's discovery could help to diversify the global phosphate supply and reduce dependence on a handful of countries. Phosphate is a key component in fertilizers, specifically phosphoric acid-based fertilizers. These fertilizers are essential for plant growth, playing a vital role in photosynthesis, energy transfer, and nutrient transport within plants. Currently, about 90% of phosphate production goes into agricultural fertilizers. The agricultural sector's reliance on phosphate directly impacts food security and economic stability. Stable and affordable phosphate supplies ensure that farmers can produce enough food to meet global needs. In regions where agriculture is a major economic driver, access to phosphate can mean the difference between prosperity and poverty. But phosphorus is also used in the production of solar panels and lithium iron phosphate batteries for electric cars, as well as semiconductors and computer chips, although in small quantities. All these products have been flagged by the European Commission as being of strategic importance. To maintain Europe's status as a global powerhouse in the manufacturing of key technologies for the green and digital transition. Phosphorus refining is also a highly carbon-intensive process, meaning most of the industry is currently concentrated in China, Vietnam, and Kazakhstan. Norway will be able to observe stricter environmental standards when digging out and refining those minerals than Asian competitors currently do by applying carbon capture and storage technology. The materials used in LFP batteries, including phosphate, are more abundant and less expensive than those in other types of batteries, such as nickel or cobalt, this makes LFP batteries more affordable, potentially lowering the overall cost of EVs and making them more accessible to a broader market. LFP batteries are less toxic and pose fewer environmental hazards than other lithium-ion batteries. This aligns with the overarching goal of EVs to reduce the environmental footprint of transportation. The market for lithium iron phosphate batteries is forecast to grow from 10 billion US dollars to 50 billion US dollars in the period 2021 to 2028. In this context, the discovery in Norway is potentially a massive boon for European automakers, as one of the key battery materials might now be located on the doorstep. While phosphate's roles in agriculture and EV production might seem distinct, they are interconnected within the broader context of sustainable development. Both sectors aim to meet current needs without compromising future generations' ability to meet theirs. The responsible extraction and use of phosphate can support sustainable agricultural practices, ensuring food security, and drive the transition to greener, more sustainable modes of transportation. The discovery of phosphate deposits could be a boon for Norway's economy. It offers a new revenue stream, potentially creating jobs and stimulating economic growth in the region. The phosphate industry could complement Norway's existing strengths in energy and marine technology, fostering innovation and investment. Even though phosphorus might help facilitate the electrification of transport or conversion of solar energy into electricity, its production is not environment friendly. Norge Mining is therefore looking at techniques like carbon capture and storage to reduce the emissions from the process. The country's experience in environmentally conscious resource extraction, particularly in the oil and gas sector, bodes well for responsible phosphate mining. That said, it is always a long journey from discovery of a resource to production. Finding the resource represents the foot of the mountain. While the discovery is welcome, much must be done to mobilize this resource for the benefit of the battery industry. The deposit discovered also contains vanadium and titanium, which are also classified as critical raw minerals by the Europe. 
Vanadium is used to produce liquid batteries required by power companies. If further exploration provides favorable results, Norway plans to fast-track the mine with an estimated opening date of 2028. So maybe sometime in the next decade, you might enjoy your first trip in an electric car whose energy storage is enabled by Norwegian phosphate. The discovery of vast phosphate reserves beneath Norway's Arctic waters is a landmark event with the potential to reshape the global phosphate industry. As the world grapples with the challenges of food security and sustainable agriculture, this newfound resource offers hope and opportunity. Make sure to let us know your thoughts and don't forget to like today's video. Thanks for watching.